you know what I think I might have just found the perfect golf ball except for one major issue so the question in today's video is first of all are these golf balls any good the second question is are they suitable for average golfers and the third question is are they actually value for money so what is my criteria for a decent golf ball well, that's not a bad shot by the way well the first thing i want is a nice soft feel off my wedges and putters the short game bit that is key to me it's got to have a soft feel without being detrimental to overall performance so that was nice off the wedge i'd say super soft to be honest with you but you're feeling as though you're getting a little bit of grab as well and then off the putter obviously that will vary in terms of the putter face though that you're using but off of my mares again it's turn ball it's really again that super soft feeling all i'm looking for is some kind of responsiveness into my hands that's key criteria number one for me in terms of a quality golf ball now the next thing i want is i want control and i want consistency of control and and consistency of reaction i suppose so 110 yards in wedge in hand and uh like i said all i want to see really is the ball do the same thing in terms of how it reacts on the green each time that hopefully I manage to get the ball on there. Let's see what this does in terms of reaction. Well, it's just literally, to be honest with you, it's just pitched and stopped. And it's exactly what I've seen so far this golf ball do. I think it's time really we had a look at and revealed what this damn ball is and why I think it is another potential Pro V1 killer. And then with driver, of course, in an ideal world, I want the ball to be low spinning. And for somebody who uh, pops the ball up quite high with driver in hand, that can be a real assistance in, uh, in getting the ball maybe just a little bit flatter sometimes in its ball flight. So let me introduce you to the new golf ball from Azuno. It is their premium RB Tour. Oh, it even holds putts. So there are two balls in the lineup, the Tour and the Tour X. And as the name suggests, they are very much uh, aimed at the better player. They're a premium golf ball in terms of performance. They're also a premium golf ball in terms of price. And I think that's a big consideration that we're going to have to look at in this video about suitability should they be an average golfer's bags it certainly does what it suggests in every way in terms of performance and again feels superb off the driver face and it's definitely firing that ball out there in terms of price by the way these are 39.99 uk pounds per dozen so it's certainly that premium market. Today's video is brought to you in association with channel travel partner Glencore Golf and this week they've sent me out onto the Algarve in Portugal where I will be playing three different golf courses Quinta da Val, Quinta da Ria and Quinta da Cima and I'll be staying in nearby Tavera at the AP Cabanas Resort. The hotel is a modern design with stunning rooms and balcony views to match and this resort has an all-inclusive option Pour yourself a beer, a glass of wine, and take the hassle out of golf trip planning. The nearby town of Tavira is just minutes away. Today's video is filmed at Quinta de Sima, which is located alongside sister course Quinta de Ria, both of which are just a five minute drive from my AP Cabanas Hotel. There is the odd water hazard to avoid, and then you can finish the day off with a visit to the Contemporary Clubhouse. So if you want more information about this golf trip itself or any other that you might be considering planning right now, then please head over to glencoregolf.com for some more booking information. Now, in terms of the difference between the two balls, I've tried both out here this morning. And uh, if I'm honest with you, I can't notice the difference between the two in terms of performance. And I think that's one of my things in terms of average golfers using premium golf balls. I can tell these are decent, but can I see differences in terms of performance? No, I can't. And that's a lot down to the variables in my strike. 
you're gonna look at a few chip shots here that I played early on this morning. And uh, the only thing that differed quite honestly is the way I played the shot, the way I delivered the club and the way in which I struck the ball. And that's what made the difference to the, uh, well, to the overall performance, if you like, of the golf ball to a degree. So you've always got to be very careful in terms of suggesting that you pay top money for a golf ball and you, as a golfer, have got the capabilities of seeing the performance benefits from it. Let's see what this does. So it just grabs and stops again, just a little bit short, grab the very front of the green. It ain't releasing every time you get them, you know you're gonna get that bit of grab. That's what is very noticeable for me. I can never judge a ball off the tee. I can never judge it from fairway uh, woods and hybrids. All I can ever judge a golf ball's performance by is when I've got a short stick in hand, putter or one of the wedges, shorter iron, and in all honesty, the balls do perform very, very consistently, which is, yeah, it's a huge tick, but it's a huge premium price to pay as well. Right, we'll finish off with a uh, difficult one to say the least. They've had some interesting pins here at Kinter de Sima, and uh, it is where you need a, uh, a premium ball to make sure it reacts as you'd hope. Right, last shot. Let's see if we can get this one somewhere near that tricky flag. Carry a bit more. Oh. That's not a bad effort, and you can see again that ball has just checked and stopped. Really been good performance off every club, to be fair. The question is, I said about value for money, and I mentioned I reviewed a ball um, from PXG a few, uh, well, a month or two ago, was it? And it was exactly the same price tag, $39.99. And uh, for me, that's the only issue, and especially again with Mizuno, are not really known for golf ball manufacturing. They've produced some good balls and their re reputation is growing. But like PXG, I'd just like to see them come in at a lower price point to get these more accessible for the masses. But it's clearly aimed at the better player. It's clearly aimed at someone who's got a repeatable swing, a repeatable strike, and can gain the benefits from this type of ball and its characteristics. And if you haven't got those things that I've just mentioned, then to me, you are always wasting money or that type of money on a premium ball because you ain't going to see the benefit from it because you just haven't got that consistency of strike. Sorry to break the bad news to you. Anyway, thanks as ever to watching. Thank you to Glencore Golf. Thank you to Kinder de Sima. Gorgeous morning, even though it's a little bit overcast here, very early morning over here on the Algarve. The temperature is just perfect for playing golf, so I'm going to do a bit more. And no doubt, I'll see you all tomorrow night. Thanks for watching.